Hi Year 10. Today what we're doing is we are looking at non-right angled trigonometry and we're going to continue to look at the sine rule. So for the sine rule, it is used in any type of triangle and to use the sine rule, we need to know at least one angle and the side opposite must be known. For the sine rule, in a triangle, we have that side A is opposite angle A, we have side B is opposite angle B, and side C is opposite angle C. So to find an angle of the triangle, we use the sine rule of sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. So it's the same formula we used to find the side of a triangle. However, each ratio has been flipped. We must know two sides, one angle, and have one unknown angle in order to find an angle using the sine rule. Let's have a look at an example with our rule up the top right hand corner. So we want to find the value of theta in the triangle to the nearest minute. In our triangle we have theta with the side opposite to it being 9 metres. We have 57 degrees and the side opposite that being 15 metres. So we have sine A over A equals sine B over B as our formula. So when we substitute in we get sine theta over 9 equals sine 57 degrees over 15. We then multiply both sides by 9 to remove the denominator on the left hand side and we end up with sine theta equals 9 times sine 57 degrees over 15. We then get sine, when we put this into our calculator, we get sine theta equals 0 0.50320234048. However, we want an angle. So what we have to do on our calculator is press shift sign and then put the decimal in to get an angle. We also have to press the degrees minute second button, which is a degree symbol and some commas, and we get 30 degrees, 12 minutes, 43.53 seconds. Our question asks us to round to the nearest minute. Now we round up our minute if our seconds are greater than 30 and we keep our minute the same if our seconds are less than 30. So because our seconds are greater than 30, we round our answer up to be 30 degrees 13 minutes.